Hi, Scott, Machine Gun Dad. Welcome back to my channel. Um, hopefully you're watching it on Rumble and not on YouTube because YouTube will probably demonetize me for who the F knows why. Um, continuing with the I Have the Gun on the Wall um, series, which isn't allowed to be called that on YouTube, but it will be called that on Rumble. I just posted one on my SIG 229 double action, single action. This is my other winter carry gun. It's a SIG 229. It's in 357 SIG. It uses the DAK um, SIG double action system. When I bought the 40, um, I was going to buy it. I ordered, I had ordered a 357 SIG barrel for it. Got the barrel and I sent the slide off the SIG to make sure it fit. And my one of my local gun shops got this in on a trade and, and I got a really good deal on it. So I started carrying this one instead while I was waiting for the 357 slide to come back. Um, if for those of you that don't know how uh, DAK works, normally when you have a double action only firearm, you pull the trigger, of course this is empty, you pull the trigger, it fires, you let it back out all the way and it resets, okay? On a SIG DAK, if you pull the trigger and the gun cycles, you'll see that the trigger is somewhat preloaded. It sticks out a little bit. When you fire the gun, you only have about, uh, I, I don't know, maybe six, six and a half, seven pound trigger pull. When the gun cycles, it goes right back into that situation. Now, let's say you fire it and it doesn't go off. As you can see, the hammer didn't rebound. You can double strike it. Or you fire it, it goes off, and this is where DAK comes in. It's a short reset. It'll come out and watch this. You'll hear an audible click. Right there. The trigger is only about halfway out. I don't know why they do it that way, but for me, having shot a double only Beretta and had to carry one uh, when I was a trooper, I couldn't wear my winter gloves and fire the pistol. You could do that with this system. However, when, it only, when you get one click like that, you've got like a 12 pound trigger pull. It's really heavy. But here's the really interesting thing. If I let it go all the way out and get the second click, it drops right down to the six pound trigger pull, six and a half pound trigger pull. It's a great system. For, so if you're a police officer or somebody has to wear gloves, you don't have to worry about that full trigger stroke to get a reset. So, now you see how it works. Now you've seen that I got this gun on the wall. Let me take you out in the range and show me shooting it. Hey, we're I'm back out on the range. I've got my SIG 229 with the stainless slide and DAK and 357 SIG. As I said before, I actually bought this as a 357 SIG. We're going to give it a couple mags. and It's not really that you need to see it, but it gives me an excuse to shoot it. And I love my SIG. So. That was it. I'll have to decock it. This is by far the nicest shooting double action gun I own. I think I hit every shot. All, as always, thanks for coming to the channel. This is uh, another episode of I've Got This Gun on the Wall. And actually after shooting this one and the other 229, this one's probably going to go on my hip. I did better with this one. Plus the night sights on this one are still lit up. Thanks for coming to the channel, like and subscribe, stay safe, hope to see you soon.